Shook it up. lovely people today is Wednesday it is the 7th of August and on Instagram I have started a little bit of a hashtag for 14 days so we are on day three and it's called hashtag 14 day mojo and by the time you see this we'll probably be at about halfway through but you can just join in at any point because it's just 14 days of getting your mojo back this is not just focused on diet it's Focus on everything, every aspect of your life. So we're gonna get a more positive vibe going. For me, one of the things I've decided to do is give up alcohol for 14 days. I don't drink a lot, but of late, I have found myself having a glass of wine when I'm prepping dinner. And I don't drink like a lot of wine, but it's that one glass of wine night. I'm like, do I really need it? Do I need to go out boozing at the weekend to have fun with my friends? No, I don't. So for 14 days, in preparation for going home to Ireland was the main focus. I'm going home to see my family in two weeks time. Lex and I are getting the ferry and we're bringing the dogs. So it's a full family affair. And when I go home to Ireland, there usually is a lot of sociable eating and drinking. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to really focus on healthy eating, healthy lifestyle and um, just getting back to doing cardio and being active, getting my steps in and drinking enough water, like the little things like that, that even though I was still kind of eating healthy, I was kind of overlooking a lot of other aspects of my life. So just want to focus on that and then just being more mentally, positively aware of my surroundings and kind of catching myself when I get into like little negative cycles. And it's just very simple things that I do every day to just try and make my life a lot more positive and have a positive outcome for each day rather than focusing on what you didn't do in a day, focus on what you have done. So yesterday um, I got my hair cut, which it really needed. Getting your hair cut mightn't seem like a major thing, but for me, when I was looking in the mirror, my hair felt dry, it felt lank, I wasn't able to style it right, and something as simple as going and getting my hair cut has made me feel a lot better today. I woke up and it just feels good and healthy. Um, for the past two days, I've been aiming to drink three liters of water and I have successfully done it, which I'm quite surprised about because it is quite a lot of water. But just catching myself yesterday, I, when I was out getting my hair done, um, I didn't have water with me and it meant that I had to drink a lot of water when I got home. So it's like, just be prepared, bring one of the uh, refillable water bottles with you when you go out and just get in the habit of drinking water when you go for a coffee get a glass of water with it and just do it that way as well as you know being conscious of drinking water during the gym i've also been trying to get enough quality sleep in which has resulted in me falling asleep on the sofa a couple of times in the middle of watching a series with lex but i am getting a lot of sleep in i feel very rested and that's very important. I've been aiming to get 10,000 steps in a day. Now that is an average across the week. So on Monday, I did cardio, because I'm also doing cardio, and it ended up that I did 13,000 steps. So yesterday, didn't do cardio, wasn't quite as active because I was on my laptop and obviously in the hairdressers. So when you're in the hairdressers, you just sat down, you're not walking around. Yesterday, I got 8,500 steps in. It is balancing it out overall, so you have to look at it like that. Don't worry if one day you don't get your 10,000 steps in, because there are other days where you'll get a lot more in. Today, I'm getting my lashes done. I think I've had a bit of hay fever. I feel a little bit congested, and it's obviously the pollen in the new area that you live in. You may never have had hay fever if you move house, the pollen will change, and you may suffer from hay fever. I don't have it too bad. I feel my eyes are a little bit puffy, so I've just been taking an antihistamine, which seems to be helping but if I do sound a bit snuffly I think it's hay fever but it's affecting my lashes because my eyes feel kind of irritated and I think I'm rubbing my eyes more 
subconsciously. So apologies to Danny, but we're gonna sort them out today. So it's all about self-love this week because then tomorrow I'm gonna go get waxed, you know, hair removal, feeling clean, feeling good. Anyone else feel like when they've been waxed, they feel a lot cleaner. And then tomorrow I'm also getting a pedicure done, like little things like that just to feel good. And tomorrow night me and Lex are going to see Celeste Barber. If you don't already follow her on Instagram, she is one of my favorite accounts to follow. She just is fun and we're going to see her in stand up in Birmingham tomorrow with my gift to Lex for our second wedding anniversary. And I'm looking forward to that. And today we're getting a lot of deliveries. I've already gotten all this. If you want to purchase anything from Women's Best, clothing or their supplements, as you know, I'm now a sponsored athlete with Women's Best and I have a link down below and you can get 10% off if you use Laney 10. I'm also due to get my supplements delivered from them today. So I've tried some new protein powder flavor. I think I've got, might've gone for a vanilla flavor because I want to bake with it. My usual collagen and zinc and things like that. So they're all due to be delivered. I'm also due a muscle food delivery. So it's delivery day here in the house apparently, but I'm also due a muscle food delivery, which will keep me on track with my food because last week I was just a bit lazy. That's part of it because I knew we were going out for food and things like that. So I was quite lazy with my food and not prepping things, just kind of doing easy meals. So back to eating healthy. So I've got some chicken breast being delivered um, and all that kind of jazz to keep us on track. So I, as you can see, I'm up, I brush my hair, I brush my teeth, but I haven't showered, I haven't done cardio, I haven't walked the dogs, I've had two coffees. So we need to get on with our day. I'm thinking I'm gonna do some cardio now, then I will walk the dogs, have a shower, and then we shall go and see Danny about my lashes. And probably train so my training today I'll insert it now because I've already recorded this workout so today I am training hamstrings and back I will insert the workout footage now so that you can see what I've been doing I've been focusing on using the cables just to kind of do something a bit different show you how you can use the different things available to you in the gym not just using uh, dumbbells and barbells but also using the actual equipment in the gym because a lot of people can be intimidated by using the dumbbells and barbells because they're not fixed so here is a cable only workout enjoy what we do here is go back 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 back
it is 4 30 and currently i should be getting my eyelashes done and i was in the eyelash salon about to get my eyelashes done when i got a call from lex saying that i had to go home and tax his motorbike firm so so i have still bald lashes but danny is going to fit me in on friday thank you lex uh but i came home to two different deliveries so we've got women's best which is my supplements i'll open that now so this is what i have ordered this month from women's best i thought i'd ordered the vanilla one but i obviously went for the double chocolate uh, fit whey protein so we have that i really like their proteins they just are a nice consistency and i can bake well with them I've topped up my zinc because I take zinc every day. It's really good for your skin, hair, nails, just for cell rejuvenation in general. Um, these protein crisps are really good and I like the salt and vinegar flavor. So I just got a couple of packs of them. I got a box of the chocolate hazelnut crunch bars, um, which are really good. And they just have very good macros as well. And then I haven't tried this, but I know this will be dangerous, but I'll probably add it to my oats and things like that. It's the chocolate um, flavored protein cream. I have already gotten through one whole tub of this. I use it every day. It's a true beauty collagen and I add it to my shakes and it comes in a mango flavor. Hopefully they'll do more flavors in that soon. And finally, I have some of these flavor drops, which I'll either use in baking or maybe just add them to coffee and things like that. It's actually going to be women's best birthday next week and they're having a huge site-wide sale going on. So if you want to purchase anything from women's best, try things out and get a nice big discount, go and check them out next week and hopefully you'll get some bargains and just use my link down below. I have an affiliate link and it just links back to me. I don't get commission, but it links back to me. It shows women's best that you're buying through my link and you can use Laney 10 to get an extra 10% discount. Okay, next on the list is unpacking my muscle food meat because it's probably been sat there for a while and Probably not the best to be sat in the sunshine for that long. I feel like today all I've done is unpack deliveries, but I'm getting through it. I'm not complaining. I'm very blessed to have all these products delivered to me and provided by companies that I really respect. I'll take you through what I've got from Muscle Food. And please, if you use my affiliate link it is much appreciated i do get a commission for anything bought through muscle food it is only available in the uk unfortunately but any of my uk people it is definitely better value than supermarkets um better quality there's always offers on and hampers and things like that and you can just if you've got a big freezer just fill up your freezer and um, because some of the things like the um say coconut lime chicken sometimes they run out because they're very popular and this is amazing last time i just bought one of them to see what it was like it was really good so i'm gonna have that for dinner tonight so i do get through a lot of chicken breasts because me and lex try to eat a lot of poultry as opposed to red meat so i've got about five kg of chicken breasts there we have some coconut and lime chicken as i showed you got some of the texas barbecue chicken burgers now i haven't tried these before so i just wanted to sample them and um, also wanted to sample so then the pigs in blankets just to try them probably going to be lex eating them but however they look good not just for christmas we've got some bacon medallions i kind of eat them a lot uh, for breakfast lex goes more for the streaky bacon then i've got some smoked salmon they do run out of the smoked salmon but when they have it in i get it and just stick it in the freezer not a big fan of having a lot of smoked salmon but occasionally when i've got people over you want to do fancy brunch you've got your smoked salmon and um, they also do things that like the himalayan pink salt uh coconut almond butter and then we've got some rapeseed oil which is meant to be very healthy and good for you only one cow per spray and just use that in your cooking and um, i get through a lot of the lean cheese i just love it and it's just so macro friendly packed full of protein and if you're a cheesy person you love it too these are one of my favorites me and lex just like it and um, the chicken skewers and they're already marinated they're very handy you kind of get in a clean meal that's already freshly prepared you just stick it in the oven and then we'll usually have like couscous and hummus and some um roasted veg and then i've got some chicken breast mince i use this for a number of different recipes and again it's just chicken breast that's been minced up and it's perfect for making burgers or nachos or different things except 
low in fat so perfect and these are all freezer friendly guys and that's why i'm saying just pack it all in the freezer and you've just there's no excuses then just take your meat out i am lucky enough to have a spare fridge freezer in my garage because we're renting and they provide one and then we have our own one but um yeah just throw it on the freezer it's there it's handy you just have to remember to take it out in the morning that's the only thing and then no excuses freshly prepared food definitely makes you feel better no matter what you're eating if it fits your macros obviously you're going to look a certain way but it's not all about looking lean and having muscles and low fat it's all about feeling good as well and um, if you're not putting the right fuel into you and you're eating a lot of McDonald's that's just hitting your macros you're not going to feel the best and you want to feel good as well as look good so fuel yourself with some yummy freshly prepared meats or if you're vegan or vegetarian or pescatarian whatever your dietary status is is that the right thing to say just try and eat as unprocessed as possible it's better for you and for your health and for your well-being and for all that kind of jazz because this is all about 14 day mojo getting it back to being positive positive mindset feeling good and then looking good kind of comes as a uh, side result of feeling good just think about it that way get yourself good on the inside and then the outside will start to follow as well so i reluctantly went to the gym and i'm glad i did now because i got my workout in feeling a lot better i didn't waste my day sat on the sofa watching tv or like flicking through instagram got my workout in felt better about myself had a productive day now I'm home to eat dinner. I just had some of the chicken. I'm going to show you what I'm having for dinner because it's extremely tasty, very simple to make, unprocessed, just fresh food, nutrition, makes you feel good. I roasted it all up in two pans in the oven. Very simple. We've got some butternut squash fries. I just really like butternut squash fries. Um, I use some of the rapeseed oil on that and then we have some roasted veggies mushrooms and um, some peppers some tomatoes asparagus and then we have the chicken which is just the coconut and lime chicken from muscle food so really healthy dinner so now that i've managed to have a productive good positive day I'm going to enjoy my food and then I'm going to start watching Pinky Blinders because I've never watched it before and there's a new series starting and my sister said I have to watch it. So that's what I'm going to do with my dinner. It's been a good day. It is 11.30 p.m. I've just put the dogs to bed and I'm a sleepy puppy too. So I am going to say good night, farewell, so long and i will see you next time thanks for watching yeah superman i spend my time flying high going round but i'm always getting wayside some people trying to shit on me i said girl you can sit on me because bitch they be hating